What's up? So I got a quick little tip for y'all today about, you know, drumsticks. And uh, what I'm about to tell you is like the most revolutionary discovery in drumming ever, all right? So the other day I was mowing my lawn, doing some yard work, you know, fall is in the air. So, you know, got to rake leaves and all that crap. But uh, as I was doing that, I had the sudden realization about the sticks and the leaves that I was raking and the grass that I was cutting and just like about life and drumming and just everything. Okay, so not really, but what I did realize was all the tools that, or at least all the garden tools that I have, were my grandpa's old ones. So they're all super old. They've lasted, you know, a billion years, and they're those cool old tools. But one thing I noticed was the grain of all the handles, right, was vertical to the tool. So pretend this is like an axe, you know, you chop away, or it's like a rake, and you're, you know, raking like this. All the grain is vertical to the tool. So it's like this, if that will focus. So it's like this, you can see this one a little bit better. The grain is vertical, not horizontal, all right? So after I realized this, I did some research and it turns out that wood is, uh, is stronger when the grain is vertical as opposed to horizontal. So I figured, you know, this might work with drumsticks. So what I've been doing was I put dots vertical to the grain so when I'm playing on the snare, I know to keep this dot up because that way the grain is vertical. Same thing with the left hand, or right hand, sorry. So again, I can see the dot when I play it. So that way I know to keep the dot between the fulcrum of the stick and that way you get vertical grainness. Now obviously every stick is a little bit different, but when I buy a stick, I try to buy a stick that has straight grain throughout the whole stick. Meaning that the grain is straight and doesn't, you know, wiggle and wobble all around the stick. Also, my testing for this has not been very scientific at all. And it is kind of annoying to think about putting the dot in between their fulcrum, making sure the grain is vertical. But, you know, it makes sense on paper and scientifically, I guess, I don't know, uh, this makes sense. You know, if you have an old wood hammer or axe or something, look at the handle and you'll notice the grain. Also, most handles for axes and uh, tools and whatnot, rakes and that sort of thing, they're, most of the handles are made out of hickory, and just so happens that most drumsticks are also made out of hickory. So that's the tip. I don't even know if you can call it a tip. Uh, it's more of like a theory, I guess. But, you know, hey, try it out. You can do some testing. You know, let me know how it works for you. Again, there's really no way to scientifically test this. But again, it makes sense on paper, so it should work. But again, it's really hard to, you know, tell. So that's the tip. Thanks for watching.